about restorative dental hygiene. Are you a dental hygienist who is thinking about taking the restorative dental hygiene program? Maybe you have an opportunity, maybe you know someone else taking it, or maybe you just want to do something else with your dental hygiene skills. I took the restorative dental hygiene program in Ottawa. How my program worked was it was about, I want to say a year. Most of that was online, which was fantastic. Loved that. I don't live in Ottawa, so I was really happy to do kind of the bulk of it online. The theory. So the theory was about nine months, give or take, where they basically had you log into your online course and then you would take the modules, tests, exams and all of that. Once you passed, then you would move on to clinical. So how it worked for me was I had to move to Ottawa for two months and go to school every single day for my restorative hygiene program where they would teach you, you know, in-class learning. So basically how I remember it worked is they would kind of reiterate kind of what they taught us online. And then we had that in person, but then we had to do, you know, hands-on clinical skills. I still remember like the first or second day we had to carve teeth out of, I think it was soap or clay or maybe a bit of both. I don't remember, but that was actually really hard for me. And I remembered thinking, oh my goodness, why do we have to do that? And it's because as a restorative dental hygienist, when you're doing fillings, as an example, you could have the tooth, which is no longer there because the patient has such a big cavity. It's just this big hole. Your job as a restorative dental hygienist is to build up that tooth just like a dentist. So it looks like the tooth. It has anatomy of a tooth. Your patient's able to floss in between all of that, right? So I thought, oh my goodness, so this is what I'm doing as a restorative dental hygienist. You are a dentist doing the restorative procedures, but you're not a dentist, you're a dental hygienist with those additional skills. So do I think it's worth it? Yes, absolutely. But there are some things to talk about as a side piece to that. The first one is if you don't have an opportunity to be a restorative dental hygienist in your office, then you might not want to go to school and spend the money to be a restorative dental hygienist because you might end up going to school and spending the money having the skills and then never using your skills because you need a dentist to work with to utilize your restorative dental hygiene skills. So you might be wondering, well, Andrea, what do you mean? So basically what the dentist does, let's look at a basic restorative procedure. The dentist is going to come in and is going to freeze the patient because you can't do that. Um, well, depending on where you live and work, you might be able to as a dental hygienist with those skills, but I was in Ontario at the time and I wasn't able to give freezing. So the dentist would come in, freeze the patient, wait, and then prep the tooth. We do not do prep as a restorative dental hygienist. We don't prep the tooth. That's what the dentist does. But then after the freezing and after the prep, I would go into the room and start the filling. I would do the entire filling with the, uh, the matrices, anything that's needed to make that filling, you know, bases, liners, anything needed, the rubber dam to completion. And then I would check the bite and then adjust the bite. And then how it worked in my office was the dentist would then come in to just kind of double check and make sure everything looked good. And I loved that. When I was first learning, I was so happy to have a dentist there to be my mentor versus let's say I just started working at an office where I didn't know anybody, but they hired me as their restorative hygienist. I would be expected to be perfect, go in and know everything and nobody would be checking my work. Now, some people might prefer that, but I'm a perfectionist and I was so happy to have my mentor, my boss check my work because I wasn't always perfect. I didn't do a horrible job where he would come in and say, oh my goodness, I have to redo this entire thing because in school you learn how to do it, right? Um, but he would come in and say, hmm, I might adjust this side a little bit. Notice how this could be rounder. It's still functional. It looks fine. But over time, this might wear away faster than if you adjusted it this way. So then he would show me or he would want me to do it and he would watch me and then he'd be like, okay, perfect. Or he would check the bite and say, ah, there's a little catch here, you know, and I would say, oh my goodness, like I didn't see that when I checked the bite, but then he would offer advice and say, well, what you have to do is to check the bite not just two times maybe check it five times maybe sit the patient up have them bite again because they're going to bite down differently and remember if the patient's frozen they might not feel that side of their mouth so checking the bite is even harder but I learned so much 
So that ties into if you don't have an opportunity or your boss isn't saying to you, I want you to go to school to be a restorative dental hygienist to help me, then you might not be able to utilize your skills because what I'm finding is those restorative dental hygienists who are just looking for a job as a restorative dental hygienist in offices aren't getting them because unfortunately dentists aren't taught to utilize restorative dental hygienists, which is such a shame because what I think is so amazing is as a restorative dental hygienist, you do a lot of the work where then the dentist can focus on doing root canals. They can focus on implants, oral surgery. They can focus on their dental hygiene checks while you are doing the work for restorative. So you could do amalgam fillings, composite fillings, crowns, bridges, um, ortho, there are so many things you can do, but just remember, we cannot prep the teeth. So I remember when I first started and I was working with my boss, patients would kind of ask me because, you know, you have to train patients and let them know what's happening. If they're so used to seeing your boss do all of the work, obviously, because they're a dentist, and then he says, okay, I'm just going to step out. My restorative dental hygienist, Andrea, is going to come in and finish. They're going to be like, wait, what? What's going on? So you kind of have to train them and talk to them and say, um, what did we say at the time? We said something like my restorative dental hygienist Andrea here she will be finishing up because she's a restorative dental hygienist and this is part of her skills and then I come in at the end you know he said I come in at the end just to make sure because she is still in training is that okay with you it was easier for new patients because they don't know any better you would just simply introduce um, he would introduce me and they would come, I would come in and they wouldn't be none the wiser, but patients already knew me as their dental hygienist. So they felt comfortable with me because they liked me as their dental hygienist. And then they kind of said, oh, well, Andrea, good for you. We know your boss here. Um, and we know he's very picky. We know he does great work. So if he's letting you kind of take over, this is a good sign, right? So they were happy with it. But imagine you just working in an office as a restorative dental hygienist. You don't know the office. You're just starting. Well, that's also great because you're kind of like paving the way. But what ends up happening is dental offices don't know how to utilize you. They see restorative dental hygiene on your resume and they go, what's that? Like, or they don't want to hire you as just a dental hygienist because they're afraid you're, you're going to take over and only want to utilize your restorative dental hygiene skills. But in a nutshell, and I still have more to talk about here, but in a nutshell, before I get to the other part is yes, restorative dental hygiene is worth it, you guys. If this is something you want to do, if you want to add even more to your dental hygiene skills, absolutely do it. And But just keep in mind, you might have to teach and train the office where you are how they can utilize you. And a great way to do this, and I did this in my other offices that I worked in because I did end up leaving that office eventually because I did move an hour away. And I was working in other offices temping. I would simply say to them, hey, I see you have a composite filling here and you have three other patients to do. I'm happy to come over and, you know, take over for you after you do the prep or let's say they're even in the middle of it. They've, they've applied the base, the liner, whatever they need, and they have to do five hygiene checks. Hey, let me know. I'll come in and finish it up for you. So I had to kind of train them, but once they started to utilize me, they're like, oh my goodness, this is great. I can see more patients make more money because I can do other procedures when you can just finish up for me. This is fantastic. So you might have to sell yourself a little bit, but what does the program cost? So when I took restorative dental hygiene, it was about $11,000. It's probably more now. And again, that's for the year. About nine months of that was theory online. And then two months I did have to move to Ottawa. So that was an additional expense. I was able to be in their like dorm area there, which was fantastic because it's really hard to rent a place for just two months. Um, two months. There was only six people in my class, but we became such great friends. And it was really hands-on experience. When I needed help, I could ask for help because there was only six of us. This isn't a program where there's going to be 25 people. In fact, I think when I took the program, they would only accept 10 people. So I was really happy to get in and they don't have a program every year. It's usually every four years or even every two years. So you kind of have to pre-think about it, right? 
but dental hygienists ask me all the time or I see posts on social media asking if restorative dental hygiene is worth it and I say yes it absolutely is but all the other hygienists that have taken it say no it's not unless you have an opportunity to work as a restorative dental hygienist where you currently are because they're not just going to pick you up. You do make more per hour. So typically you make $20 more per hour. Um, but then once you get better, of course, and you can do more, you feel more confident, you get quicker, you can absolutely ask for more. I was working in an office where there were multiple doctors. And there was actually another restorative dental hygienist there where she was making about $100 per hour. Um, and as a dental hygienist at the time, you were making about $35 per hour, maybe 40. So that's a big jump, right? That's pretty good. That's more than $20 per hour. But she also had 10 years experience, I think. So I wasn't expecting to make $100 per hour because I was just like, okay, I'm still learning. Be nice to me, but I'd love to really show you what I can do. So you do make more per hour. What a lot of dental hygienists say who are in restorative, they say, ah, you don't make that much more. It's not worth it. Well, if you're not asking for more money, how do you expect to get it? I would, I never have a problem asking for more money. You know, I was one when I used to work in a dental office, I would ask for $5 more a raise every single year because I deserved it. And I, I was always the first one there, the last one to leave. I loved my patients. I loved my job. Nobody had to worry about me. I was always there. I did a great job. So I was never shy to ask for more money. So right now I'm a mobile dental hygienist with my own practice. And yes, I still utilize restorative hygiene, not in the way that if I was working with a dentist, because obviously I'm not doing fillings in patients' homes because there's, there's, there's not a dentist there to help prep, but I can see things. I can see things and I have the knowledge that I might not have had as just a dental hygienist. I can check for cracks in the tooth because I know how to take that articulating paper and check if the bite is high. I'm um, talking about cracks. I know how to take a bite stick and check if the bite is high because I know how to do that. But I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't a restorative dental hygienist. I can make minor bite adjustments with my high-speed handpiece. I couldn't do that if I was a dental hygienist. So I do charge for that when I, when I do it. I can make um, adjustments to night guards, crowns, bridges, anything. So I do still utilize my skills. I can apply a temporary filling where I wouldn't have been comfortable doing that as a regular dental hygienist because you're not really taught. You're taught in school for a little bit, but not really. But as a restorative dental hygienist, they take it to the next level where you absolutely know how to do it. So I still utilize my skills. And was the $11,000 worth it? to go to school? Absolutely. Because, you know, I'm a restorative dental hy hygienist now that comes with a title that I wouldn't have had otherwise, which is kind of nice, right? Not everybody can get accepted into restorative dental hygiene. You have to have references. You, you have to have all of that and you, um, you don't need somebody to vouch for you, but um, it's expensive. So also not everybody can do it. And that's something that I wanted to do. I paid cash. Absolutely no problem. But I do know it's an expense. So if you're thinking about becoming a restorative dental hygienist, ask yourself why. Is it just because you're bored and you want something to do? It can't hurt to just do it. You know what I mean? But if you're thinking you're going to start working as a restorative dental hygienist, making $100 per hour, working eight hours a day, that probably won't happen unless your boss right now is telling you they need a restorative dental hygienist and that's what they want you to work. Okay, so something to think about. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.